From Las Vegas, it's Let's Talk News Now with Rick and Ella. They will not listen to anyone, so nobody tells them a lie. What a great show. Like I said, absolutely fantastic show. When we talk about Elton John, like you said, there was a time he was Elton John, higher voice. Right. Now, Sir Elton John, lower voice. I also kind of divide things up a little bit. By the way, we're talking about one of your countrymen. Notice I throw the Sir Elton John in there. Yeah, I did it properly. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I was coached. I was coached. Um, Not by me. <laughs> is, that they, is that Elton John also had this time in his life early on where he was very flamboyant on stage. Uh, we Elton also, John, flamboyant? <laughs> he no, was a well, professional oh, Zaycom. No, here, here's the thing. Is somebody had to teach Gaga how to do it. Okay? That's uh, right. There you he's go. a major influence yeah. on Madonna. Oh, Gaga. Exactly. And they and don't I, even like each other. I have other. to ask you how you like my accent when I'm on stage. How, how am I coming off? Yes, you are. It's how so Australian. So I'm like, I hear Great Britain when I'm on stage. Know, <laughs> I know, but to me it's similar. But she could help me with my when I do my I accent I would be very glad to do so. We'll talk. <laughs> we'll do lunch. To my people. Co- yeah, yeah, co- I was just going to say. <laughs> are we talking about coaching fees here? I'm all for it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what do you charge? Are you darling free? Okay. Um, so the other thing too is, but also his it, Bernie Taupin mm-hmm. played a huge role in Elton John's huge. career early on, especially the first couple albums. Correct. Correct. Right, to get the timeline right. Oh yeah. 1970s and 80s. Yeah. Okay. 69, all of 68, 69, 70, all the way through. So about 79, 80, I think they broke, and Elton did a, an album called Single Man. He titled the album Single Man because it's without Bernie for the first time. And Bernie Toppin is tremendous in the whole career of Elton John. Right. Because Bernie would just simply write the lyrics and send them to Elton. He'd put it up on the piano and say, okay, uh, Queen Victoria Pub. Queen Victoria Pub. Right. He'd put these chords to it, right? right. Yeah. And uh, when Bernie split from Elton, who had more success? Yeah. Do you know? I. Yeah, that's a great question. Bernie Taupin wrote These Dreams for Heart. Okay. And he wrote We Built This City for Jefferson Starship. Ah. Huge hits. Absolutely. That even I've And what happened, do you know what Elton wrote? um, You know what his popular song was on Single Man? Yeah. Nobody else. So without Bernie, there's some kind of... So Elton. You know. There's a loss there. Ah. There's a loss there in, in the persona Those, of Elton John. Yeah. He did he wasn't as successful, although I think his album Single Man was great. But he didn't have the same musicians and he didn't have Bernie and it was just different. Please. But Bernie just had tremendous success with, with Hart and Jefferson Starship. Just amazing. And, and I'm I'm fans of Jefferson Starship for sure. Yeah. Um Michael, on your side of it, Billy Joel. I turn around, I look at him, and I'm going, okay, we were laughing <laughs> a little bit ago. Goatee, no goatee, hair, no hair. Right. Christine, no Christine. Now she does exercise equipment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She yeah. still looks Nothing like she's that. 35, and he looks like he could be her granddad. Right? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, he does concerts. They say he goes on stage, he goes, hi, I'm Billy Joel's dad. Oh. That's what he says. He man. says it. Okay. He says it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that man in the mirror, man, can't lie. The, the, the change within his his performances over the decades, though. Mm-hmm. From uh, when I think of Billy Joel, I go all the way back to Piano Man, the song Piano Man. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people don't always realize that he was he actually made that song very famous. It's funny yeah, when from some... L.A. He wrote it in L.A. Actually, it's, 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 it was playing a pub in L.A., a, a bar in L.A., and wrote about it, the actual people in the bar. So the time he was uh, under the name Billy Martin because he was trying to get out of his contract, his original contract, so he went to L.A. and used a different name. And it's funny, a lot of times in the bar, we'll get a request to say Piano Man by Elton John. Right, yeah, oh. yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Unbelievable. Oh. Yeah. It's always seems like Elton John. <laughs> okay, and then the, the magic between the two of them is to, well, how, how is it that when I went to go see the Concert Man show, the Piano Man show, excuse me, yeah. mm-hmm. that, why did the two of them decide to, to do that gig together? Is there any story well, behind that? I they think, have a song I think called it's... Piano Man. You have a song called Rocket Man. They okay. both play piano brilliantly. They both have great voices. Mm-hmm. Whoever came up with the idea is 
I think it was brilliant, great. And I think I, I would have to I would have to take an educated guess and think they kind of came up with the idea because of dueling pianos. They, you know, dueling pianos is all over yeah. the country where you have two people people playing together, mm -hmm. the two pianos face to face, and I think they realized they wanted to do that at an obviously much higher level. Gents, uh, you're going to be on the 25th and 28th. You're going to be down in Laughlin. July 25 to 28 at the Riverside. Laughlin, $30 are the tickets, and the show starts at 8 p.m. And then on the 29th, you're going to be at the Starlight Bowl? Starlight Bowl in Burbank, California, yes. It's now time for you to get on with your day. I hope you make it a great Tuesday, and we'll see you tomorrow morning on Let's Talk News Now. On the American way. That was incredible. You, you think you're really listening to Elton John and Billy Joel? It was awesome. Sorry, sorry.